Hi guys, Awesome Chess Blunder here, and today I have a game played between Shishwan Malashikari and Vasily Ivanchuk. And this game is played in the Sunway City Just tournament, and it's already over, but let me show you the standings anyway. Okay, um, so this is quite an upset, um, because uh, Shishwan defeated Vasily, and so let's, let me show you how he defeated him. So, um, Sreshwan has the white pieces and Inva Ivanchuk has the black pieces. And uh, white starts with d4 and c5. Black plays the old Benoni defense. And the most common reply is d5, and which is played today. And now knight f6 just going for the. just trans trying to transpose into Benoni um, and targeting this pawn. Uh, c4, um, e6, just going for the main lines, this is all main lines, knight c3, takes on d4, takes on d4, and now d6. Yeah, this is just Benoni, and this these are still main lines, and now um, e4, g6, and now f4, the pawn stone variation. White went for the pawn stone variation, and um, now bishop g7 is played well before this um what instead uh you guys might be worried about the move e5 well e5 doesn't really do anything actually uh if you play e5 then knight retreats to uh, um knight f d7 will be played and then um you you can't really develop anything like play knight here because it, they're the bishop, the the pawn, and the knight are all putting pressure on a e five e five square, and so you gotta play. He, he takes on d six, and now um black castles, knight to f three, and now knight to f six, and it's all fine. This is playable. Um, and yeah, you would win your pawn back eventually, and yeah, it's you you it's gonna be an equal game. So yeah, it's not that variation. So instead he went for bishop b5. White went for bishop b5. And now knight f d7 is played. Well, why not a um, knight b d7 or even bishop d7? Why won't he black play knight b d7 or bishop d7? Um well it's common that uh on Benoni for like the f knight to go go back to um d d7 if like there's a bishop check and if 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 you uh, develop a piece like something like knight bd7, then this strat is gonna come anyway. Um, e5 e5 is gonna come. So yeah. So you, you block it, and now you uh, you are also a lot. You you have some control on the e5 square. So okay, let's go back. Um, knight f3 is played, and now a6, questioning the bishop. Now bishop retreats to um d3. Now b5. White is having Black is having a good game. Eventually, he'll play um, bishop. I mean, I mean pawn to c4, followed by knight to c5, and yeah, um, it's and it's gonna be a pretty good game. So now, uh, white castles, uh, black castles, and now um, king to h1, a prophylactic move. So if so, to prevent like something like um. C4, pawn to C4, followed by bishop to C2, and maybe queen to um queen to B6 check. Imagine the king being on G G1, and if he played something stupid like E5, I don't know. Um, it's it's gonna be a check, and also bishop also could come down for a check after this or something like that. <laughs> if the knight wasn't there, and yeah, just getting away from threats. So okay now the rook e8 just developing the rook um a3 just preventing um more the expansion of pawns like maybe play um a5 followed by b4 now he, um instead um black plays c4 um bishop retreats to c2 and now knight to c5 going along with his plan now and now um 
in this position, there's a lot of moves being played. Like the most common one is f4, but this is instead white played a knight to d4, just centralizing his knight. You know, making a strong knight on d4, and um, this is the engine's third best move after f4 and e5. And yeah, um, it's it's probably um young Shreeshan's plan, probably. And yeah, um, you'll see what I mean later. Okay, he plays bishop to. Vasily has an interesting plan. Um, Ivanchuk has an interesting plan. He played bishop to g4, um, offering this useless bishop like the light square bishop for this strong knight on a d4. And yeah, white win for it anyway. And now, f5 is played. Sorry, guys. Now, now a uh, knight to um, knight b d seven is played, and now a pawn takes on g six. A uh, pawn f takes on g six, and now um, e five. And this is the critical position of the game. So, um, as you can see, uh, white has this strong bishop. White threatening bishop takes on g six, weakening um, black's uh king defense so the, the the defense plan is here is to take on this knight and if you, um b takes on c3 and after that a uh, knight takes on um e5 it's it's fine it's protecting this pawn and attacking this queen at the same time after this queen goes back to g3 and it's really hard for white to make a plan here after like knight c to a d3 and blocking the white light square bishop and now um this is black is gonna have a really excellent game here so yeah um and if for example um instead if like white tries to be sneaky and takes on um g6 then um black is gonna take on um g6 anyway just attacking blocking the queen and the bishop and if like white tries something like double checking and um then it wouldn't quite do anything because now queen goes back to um h3 check uh, king to g8 queen to g3 check and then knight blocks and just allowing bishop to retreat back just giving away this knight for this bishop because and if um is something like Pawn takes his plate, then queen, um, queen b7, and now h3 just attacking the pin piece. But then again, uh, then after this, knight uh plays knight to e4. Queen takes on um g4. Queen takes on g4. H takes on g4, and now a uh, black has knight to g3 check, blocking the king and the rook, and now king. King moves to um d1 and now you it's it's a fine game here rook and bishop against rook and a rook it's a winning for black definitely even though he has a, his pawn up and but both of them are g pawns like double g pawns so it's a winning game okay instead Vasily blindly captures now your knight can't go to um. E5 if bishop takes on g6, and that's what white did. Bishop takes on g6, and now, now you, you, you still, if you pl play h takes on g6, then it's gonna be really bad for um, it's gonna be really bad for black. But it, but you still can play um, for example, a uh, rook to f8, and now after bishop to f5, unleashing a discovered check. Now king to uh, h8 and now he, white black has plans for like maybe rook to g8 just kicking the queen out and it's gonna be a playable it's still a playable game for um black so yeah instead chucky blindly takes it and now black is in a lot of trouble now queen takes on g6 check bishop to g7 check queen i mean blocks 
the queen to f7 check, king to h8 just escaping. Now, if, if you try something like rook to f3 for like a mate or something, to prepare for like checkmate, it wouldn't really work cause rook to e1 is gonna just prevent it and now you have to go back. And Ivanchuk has saw this, um, has this queen to h4 move just protecting this rook in case it gets taken. And now the rook can't move from the first rank. And, and also, and also, um, so now instead, um, Chucky missed this plan. Uh, can you guys find a plan? It's queen to h5 check. It's a brilliant plan. Um, it so basically it just gives a check and now king moves. Now I'm preventing, <laughs> and now bishop to g5 is just fatal, and it it comes with a tempo and the queen has to move. Now queen moves to um c8. What if rook blocks? Like what if he gives away material and rook block? Then queen to h4 will be played. Like piling up pressure, rook to f6, bishop takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, rook takes on f6, and white will have a brilliant game here. <coughs> it's it's a winning game. So yeah, um, bishop to g5, queen to c8, now queen to f7 check, now king to um king to h8, and now. Rook to f4. Why not rook to f3? Well, well, if you go rook to f3, then you have you'll encounter this knight fork, and it wouldn't really work. If you give try and give a check, queen will take on h3. Um, g takes on h3, and now knight takes on. Now knight takes on f7 is winning simply for black. So yeah, go for f4, and in this position, Vasily Ivanchuk resigned. It's quite an upset for everyone, like everyone was expecting Vasily to win. And yeah, um, congratulations to Trishuan. He, he, he did really well in the under-9 Commonwealth games, I think. Chess games, I think. I don't know. I, I didn't follow him. And and the funniest thing is, he's untitled. Like, even though he should be a candidate's master, he's 2200. But he's still untitled, and Vasily, I have no idea what he's doing. A lot of Vasily is quite unpredictable. He could beat Carlson twice in a tournament, or maybe um, or maybe even like lose to um an untitled player. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video, and it's awesome, Chess Blunderer here, and see ya.